Hello everyone, this is Glenda Winkleman and welcome back to Creative Grandma. This week for my Stitch of the Week, we're going to be doing this really fun front stitch, back stitch granny square. This is an amazing granny square where you're covering up those holes to make a really nice solid kind of 3D textured layered granny square. So. <laughs> With all that said, let me show you a little bit about this pattern. This one I made using three different shades of purple. It has a wonderful layering effect where you work one round, you come back, you work your stitches on the top front of your work, and when you come back in the next round, if you look here, you'll see these stitches on the back of your work. It almost creates a waffle type effect. So you're covering up those holes. You're making a, making this a more solid granny square. It's just a wonderful, wonderful pattern. This is the front and this is the back. Please excuse my ends. I do that for time's sake when I'm filming these videos, but you can see when you're working this round, you have these holes. And when you come back around, those stitches in the front cover up these holes. So every time you work the next round, you're layering the stitches over top those holes and it just creates such a nice look to your granny square. This is pretty simple once you get the technique of making sure you're not working in those top stitches. You have to bend them down and then work one round below. So the video will really walk you through it and once you do one or two of these you're just going to love them. It's just a really unique way of making a granny square. So this is my first sample. Now these were all made using four worsted weight yarn and these are all red heart super savers so this one was made using three different colors of purple the second one again was red heart super saver and i used three different shades of blue so very 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 pretty pretty pattern this pattern is made also that if you wanted to make your blocks larger you would just repeat rounds five and six and then you would make your block as big as you want. Now you will be changing colors every two rounds. The pattern is written, so you change colors. You know, you work five and six, change colors, work five and six, change colors. So every two rows you would change colors. And when you got your block as big as you wanted it, then you would finish with rounds seven and eight as you're finishing rounds to make that border. So just a wonderful block. So let's get started. And I'll be right back and I'll show you what colors I'm using. I'll be making this purple one today. I'll show you which yarns I'm using and which crochet hook and we'll get this pattern started. So for today's project I'm using four different colors. I'm using three different shades of purple and then I just have my white as my base for the outside edge. So I'm going to start with my darkest color first and this is Dark Orchid. This is number 776 Red Heart Super Saver. My next color is Medium Purple and this is color number 528. Again, Super Saver colors. This is a four medium weight yarn. My third color is Pale Plum and this is number 579, Super Saver. And then the basic white, color number 311 white. So again, this square starts with the darkest color. I'm going to show you this blue sample. And then you just lighten your shades as you go towards the outside. So this pattern, again, can be made any size you wish. So I'm going to start and we're just going to make this size pattern, but the instructions actually tell you what to do to increase your block size if you would just like to just keep making it bigger. So let's begin. I'm just going to tie my dark purple around my hook and I just use a double knot. I just take my yarn right around my hook and tie a knot. Now you can use any method that you prefer. This is just the method I've always used and I, I just don't like change so I just always just tie that double knot 
and then we're going to begin with the chain four. I did forget I am using a size I9 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now you can jump down a size, you can jump up a size, it's up to you and what you prefer and what effect you want. If you want a looser looking stitch, I like mine just a little bit tight for a more solid look. So okay, we have our yarn attached to our hook, so we're going to begin with a chain four. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that loop, this is your first chain. This does not count as a chain. So yarn over the hook, pull it through, that's two. Yarn over, pull it through, that's three. Yarn over, pull it through, that's four. We're going to skip those first three chain. We're going to insert into the fourth chain from hook, the end chain, and we're going to slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch and pull it through the loop on your hook. We just created a small ring and this is what we'll be working in for round one. I'll be right back and we'll get round one started. So to start round one I'm just going to take this little bit of yarn that I have from tying my knot and I'm just going to carry it around the outside of this ring and I'm going to work my stitches through the center of the ring and then around this end to help weave it in. So we just joined and then we're going to just insert our hook into the center of that ring and we're going to work eight single crochet into the center of this ring. So yarn over the hook, pull it back through the center of that ring. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over the hook and pull through two loops. We do not chain one when we start this round. We just immediately work that first single crochet. So that's one, insert your hook into the center of that ring, work a second single crochet, insert your hook into the center of that ring, work your third single crochet. You're going to continue working until you have a total of eight single crochet in the center of the ring and I'll be back and show you how to join. I have my eight single crochet worked in the center of the ring and if you look on the back you notice that I crocheted right over top of this end piece so I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to clip that off to get it out of my way and that way my ends already weaved in. So then what you want to do is you just want to double check and count backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And this yarn is really dark so I hope you can see the stitches okay. So we're just going to go ahead and slip stitch right into the top of this first single crochet that we made right under the top two strands. So insert your hook under those top two strands of that first single crochet and we're going to slip stitch together. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, and pull it through the loop on your hook. Round one is finished. So we're going to go ahead and start round two. Round two we're going to start with a chain three. So one, two, and three. And this beginning chain three counts as our first double crochet. So now we're going to go down and we're going to work four more double crochet all in this beginning single crochet where you made your chain three. So yarn over the hook, follow that chain three down right into that same beginning single crochet, insert your hook and you're going to work a double crochet. We need to work three more double crochet all in that same stitch right here. So yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch. and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work a double crochet. Now this purple yarn's a little thicker than my other samples I made, so sometimes depending on the color, the yarn can be a little bit thicker. So yarn over the hook, insert into that same stitch, and work your fifth and final double crochet. And then just double check your work. You have your starting chain three, and then you have one, two, three, four, and that's a total of five double crochet as your beginning chain three counts as the first. So this is a pretty easy round. 
Now we're going to chain two, one, two. We're going to pull these stitches back and you're going to make sure that you skip this next stitch because when you're working five double crochet a lot of times those stitches will come over and hide that next stitch so make sure you really pull them back and you're skipping the right stitch or this will not come out right so yarn over the hook we're going to skip that next stitch insert your hook into the next stitch and you're going to work five double crochet there's one yarn over the hook insert into that same stitch and work a second double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same stitch and work a third double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same stitch and work a fourth double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same stitch and work your fifth double crochet and this is the start of the repeat. When you start these five double crochet, that's the start of the repeat. Then you're going to chain two. You're going to pull those stitches back and you're going to skip that next stitch. So you're going to repeat that two more times around. You're going to, again, you already chained two, so you're going to skip this next stitch you're going to work five double crochet into the next stitch you're going to chain two skip the next stitch and then you're going to start all over again and work five double crochet into the next stitch you're going to chain two skip a stitch and then I will meet you at the end of round two so go ahead and repeat this two more times and I'll meet you at the end of round two so I'm over at the end of round two and this is what your work should look like. You should have five double crochet, a chain two, you're going to skip one stitch and then you're going to start again and work five double crochet, chain two, skip a stitch, work five double crochet in that next stitch, chain two, skip a stitch, five double crochet in the next stitch, skip a stitch, you end with a chain two. So now to end round two, we're going to count up to the top of this beginning chain three. One, two, three. Insert your hook right into the top of that chain three. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, and pull it through the loop on your hook. I'm just going to fasten off, and I'm going to let my ends hang in the back, and I'll weave them in when I'm all done. So I just fasten off my old color. I'm going to grab my next color which is medium purple and I'll be right back to start round three. So I have my medium purple and I always leave about a three, two to three inch length and then I come back and weave that in when I'm done. So here's where we fastened off of round two and we're going to go across to the center double crochet which is the third double crochet of this five double crochet group so just count over one two three insert your hook right into the top of that center double crochet which is the third one and we're going to pull our new color through I just leave this hang back and again I'll secure that and weave it in when I'm done so we're going to begin with a chain one and we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all into the same joining stitch. Again, is the third double crochet of that five double crochet group. So insert your hook into that same stitch and work a single crochet. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, yarn over the hook, and pull it through two loops. You just made a single crochet. You're going to chain two, one, two, you're going to insert your hook into that same stitch and you're going to work a single crochet. So basically it's just a little single crochet V stitch or shell stitch. So it's a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So now we're going to chain two, one, two, and just let your end hang back in the back of your work. So now we're going to work two double crochet into the next corresponding single crochet two rounds below, which is round one, 
between the current five double crochet group and the next five double crochet group. And we're working our stitches into the front of the work. So you're going to yarn over the hook. I know that was a lot of words, uh, so it's just easier if you print this pattern out and use it and follow along. And this also helps you learn how to read patterns. So we put the yarn over our hook. We're going to go down to the front of our work. You're taking your hook right to the front of your work on the top. You're going to insert from the front to the back through that single crochet and you're going to push that top chain two space out of your way. You do not want to work in this. This is the secret at how you work the front and the back stitches. So push that out of your way and bring your crochet hook back up and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same single crochet, and you're only going into the single crochet stitches. Keep that chain two out of the way and work your second double crochet. So then when you let go of your work, your work will come back up. Your two double crochet will be in front of this chain two space, and this stays unworked. So that's just going to lay right in front of that chain two space. We're going to chain two, one, two. Now we're going to start our repeat. So our repeat starts here. We're going to work a single crochet, a chain two, and a single crochet into the third stitch of that next five double crochet group in the corner. So if you have to, pull your stitches back, count one, two, three, insert your hook into that center double crochet, work a single crochet, a chain two, and a single crochet in that same stitch. Your corner is made. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to come over and we're going to work two double crochet into the next single crochet two rounds below between the current five double crochet and the next five double crochet and we're working into that single crochet only so yarn over the hook you're going to come across to the top of your work in the front insert your hook from front to back through that single crochet two rounds below you're going to take your finger and push this current top row out of your way and you're going to bring your crochet hook back up like so and push that down and you're going to work your first double crochet. Yarn over your hook, go back into the top of that single crochet take your hook and bring it back to the front of your work leaving this chain two space behind and unworked. Make sure it's below your hook so you don't work in it. Yarn over the hook and work that double crochet. You're going to chain two and that's the end of the repeat. When you let go of your work and you push that back up, your two double crochet will be in front of that chain two space and this has to be left unworked. If you work into that chain two space you're not going to be able to work this pattern. So it's just once you do it you'll get the hang of it but just make sure you're working in the front of the work and leave this chain two space unworked. So go ahead and repeat from the beginning. Just click back on the video where I said this is the start of the repeat. You're going to go ahead and work your single crochet, chain two, single crochet into this third stitch of that next corner. You're going to chain two and then you're going to work your two double crochet into that next corresponding single crochet two rounds below making sure you work those stitches in the front of this chain two leaving the back of that chain two unworked. Repeat that around. I will meet you at the end of round three. I'm over at the end of round three and this is what your work should look like. You have your single crochet chain two single crochet 
in each corner and you have your chain two, two double crochet, chain two on the front top side of your work making sure that chain two behind those two double crochet remain unworked and you end with two chains. So now we're just going to go up here and we're going to just insert our hook into the top of this beginning single crochet. Just insert your hook right under the top two loops of that first single crochet. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, and pull it through the loop on your hook. Round three is finished and we're getting ready to start round four. And I'll be right back to get round four started. So to start round four, we're going to go ahead and insert our hook into this corner chain two space front to back. We're going to slip stitch yarn over the hook, pull it through that space and pull it through the loop on your hook. That is getting us in our position to start the round. We're going to start with a chain three, one, two, three. And again, the chain three counts as our first double crochet. We're going to work four more double crochet all in this same corner chain two space. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same corner chain two space, and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same corner chain two space, and work a double crochet we need to work and make one more. So yarn over the hook, insert into that same corner chain two space and work a double crochet. You should have your beginning chain three which counts as your first double crochet and then four more. So one, two, three, four, five. Five total stitches. We're going to chain two, one, two, and now we're going to work our stitches into the back of your work. So we're going to skip this next chain two space here and we're going to work two double crochet in the next corresponding chain two space two rounds below behind the next two double crochet. So you're going to yarn over the hook, you're going to go into this chain two space behind those two double crochet so we're skipping this first one. You're looking on the back of your work for that next chain two space, which it's two rounds below behind this. Insert your hook and work two double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space behind those two double crochet on the front of your work and work your second double crochet. You're going to chain two. And then we're going to skip this next chain two space on the current row. So you're working behind your stitches on this round. So it's just a simple matter of front stitch, back stitch, and that's where I got the name for this granny square. So now we're going to start our repeat all over again. <clears throat> so this is the start of the repeat. We're going to work five double crochet into this corner chain two space. So yarn over the hook, insert into that corner chain two space, and work five double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same corner chain two space, and work a second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work a third double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work a fourth double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work a fifth double crochet. Your corner is made. We're going to chain two, one, two. We're going to skip this next chain two space of the current row and we're going to work two double crochet in the next corresponding chain two space two rounds below right here behind the next two double crochet so yarn over the hook we're skipping the chain two space on the current row and we're jumping down two rounds below behind the next two double crochet into that chain two space 
and you're going to work two double crochet into this space. Insert your hook and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space behind those two double crochet and work your second double crochet. So your stitches are behind those next two double crochet into that chain two space. You're going to chain two. You're going to skip this next chain two space of the current row. That's the end of the repeat. So click back on this is the start of the repeat and you're going to work five double crochet into that next corner chain two space. You're going to chain two, you're going to skip this chain two space, you're going to work two double crochet in the chain two space two rounds below behind these two double crochet right here, and then you're going to chain two, and then you will skip this next chain two space of the current round. So go ahead and repeat that around your other two sides. I'll meet you at the end of round four and show you how to join your work. I'm over at the end of round four and this is what your work should look like. You should have five double crochet into the corner chain two space, a chain two, two double crochet in the chain two space behind those two double crochet, a chain two, and then you're skipping that chain two space. And you should have repeated that around. And this is what your work should look like. So now we're getting ready to join our round. So we're just going to come over and we're going to count up to the top of that beginning chain three, one, two, three. Insert your hook into the top of that stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through that top of that chain three space, and in through the loop on your hook. Round four is complete. I'm just going to fasten off my color here, this purple, and I'm going to grab my next color, which is going to be pale plum, and I'll be back to start round five. So I have my new color, and I leave anywhere from two to three inch length. And I'm going to go ahead and join my color. Now rounds five and six will be the repeat rounds if you want to make your block larger. If you wanted to make a larger, say, afghan or baby afghan, this will come out square. So um, you would just pick more colors or however you wanted to do your color combination. And you would repeat rounds five and six until you got it the size you want. Now round seven and eight will be the finishing round. So if you do decide to make your block larger, then you would uh, work rounds seven and eight for the last two rounds of your block when you get it to the size you want. Now this video is just taking you through this size block here. So the instructions are written and you'll get this size block. Now these two rounds here, uh, seven and eight, you would do this, if you make this like 10 times bigger, then you would do the last two rounds after you get this block the size you want. So let's get started with round five. We're going to go over and we're going to join our new color into that third stitch of that five double crochet group. So you joined here. So you count one, two, three, insert your hook into that stitch and pull your new color through. We're going to chain one, and we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all in the same double crochet. Insert your hook into that stitch and work a single crochet. You're going to chain two. Insert your hook into that same stitch and work a single crochet. And if you notice with this pattern, when you're working your corners, Round five will have the single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Round six will have the five double crochet. So you're just alternating how you do your corners with those two rounds. So now we're going to chain two, one, two. We're going to work two double crochet in the next chain two space, two rounds below. So what you're going to do is yarn over the hook you're going to come to the front of your work. 
you're going to go underneath that chain two space two rounds below from front to back underneath and then you're going to bring that hook back up and push that chain two space on top below where you're working so you do not work in that you're kind of like working like that push that right out of your way and work your first double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same chain two space and work your second double crochet you're going to chain two yarn over the hook you're going to skip this next two double crochet on the current row and you're going to insert your hook into that next chain two space two rounds below and again you're going to push your work down you're going to go from the front to the back and make sure all those other stitches are below your hook so you're not working in them and you're going to work your first double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same chain two space and work your second double crochet you're going to chain two and then when you push your work back up you'll see that your stitches are in the front of the work in that chain two space and then this is like a pocket it's right into the back of your work and it's left unworked that previous round so now we're going to start our repeat again so this is the start of the repeat you're going to single crochet chain two single crochet into this third stitch of that next five double crochet group of the corner so insert your hook count one two three insert your hook into that third stitch and work a single crochet you're going to chain two insert your hook back into that same double crochet stitch and work a single crochet you're going to chain two you're going to work two double crochet in the next corresponding chain two space two rounds below in the front of your work so yarn over the hook you're going to insert your hook from front to back underneath that chain two space two rounds below and you're going to take your finger and push this all the way down out of your way so your crochet hook is on top and this work is not being worked through you got to keep it out of your way and work your first double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same chain two space two rounds below and work that second double crochet you're going to chain two you're going to keep those stitches pushed down you're going to yarn over the hook you're going to skip those next two double crochet of the current row you're going to insert your hook into that next chain two space two rounds below going from front to back and then coming up behind that chain two space and pushing this work from the previous round down underneath so you're not working through it and you're going to work a double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same chain two space and work your second double crochet making sure all those stitches are pushed down out of your way you're going to chain two and that is the end of your repeat and pull your work forward make sure that none of those stitches are worked in making sure all those are unworked push your work back up and then go ahead and click back on the video where I say this is the start of the repeat and you're going to start all over again by skipping the next two double crochet you're going to work a single crochet chain two single crochet into that third double crochet of that next five double crochet of the corner you're going to chain two you're going to work two double crochet two rounds below into this chain two space making sure you're only working on the front of the work leaving the back of the work unworked you're going to chain two skip these next two double crochet you're going to work two double crochet into this next chain two space two rounds below 
and then end with a chain two. So repeat that around your other two sides. I'll meet you at the end of round five. I'm over at the end of round five and this is what your work should look like. Very pretty layering of the stitches. So now we're getting ready to fasten off our work and to join this round. So you should have ended with a chain two. You worked your two double crochet, ended with a chain two. We're going to skip these two double crochet stitches here. We're going to go over and insert into the top of that beginning single crochet right under the top two threads of that yarn, of that stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, and pull it through the loop on your hook. So I'll be right back and we'll do round six. So to start round six, we're going to start by skipping our beginning joining stitch, a single crochet, and we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into this corner chain two space. So insert your hook into that corner chain two space, yarn over the hook, bring it through that space and through the loop on your hook. We are now in position to start round six. So with round six, we're going to start with a chain three. One, two, and three. And we're going to work four more double crochet into this corner chain two space. Yarn over the hook, insert into that chain two space, and work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same corner chain two space, and work a second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same corner chain two space, and work a double crochet. That's three. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same corner chain two space, and work a double crochet. That's four. So with your beginning chain three is your first double crochet and then you worked four for a total of five stitches. So we're getting ready to start our repeat. So our repeat begins, we're going to chain two, one, two, we're going to skip this next chain two space here and we're going to work two double crochet in the next corresponding chain two space two rounds below behind the next two double crochet. So you're going to find your next two double crochet and we're going to work our stitches behind them in this chain two space. So yarn over the hook, insert into the back chain two space only, keep those front stitches pulled front and do not work in them and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space, and work your second double crochet. And we're going to repeat this across to the last chain two space before the corner. So again, the repeat starts, you're going to chain two. You're going to skip this next chain two space of the current row and you're going to work two double crochet into the next corresponding chain two space behind the next two double crochet on the back of your work. So yarn over the hook, insert into that chain two space in the back of your work, leaving the front stitches unworked and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your second double crochet. That's the end of the repeat, and if your block was bigger, you'd continue doing that until you got to this last chain two space. So we're over to the last chain two space before the corner, so we're going to go ahead and chain two. We're going to skip this last chain two space here, and we're going to skip this single crochet. So now we're going to start the repeat of going around the next side and this is what you'll repeat around the remaining three sides. So we're going to start here with the repeat again. We're going to work five double crochet into this corner chain two space. Yarn over the hook, insert into that corner chain two space and work a double crochet. That's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space. Whoops and work a double crochet, that's two. 
yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work a double crochet, that's three, yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work a double crochet, that's four, yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, work a double crochet, and that's five. So then we're going to start and work a chain two. We're going to skip the next chain two space of the current row and we're going to work two double crochet into the next corresponding chain two space two rounds below behind the next two double crochet. So find your next two double crochet, pull them forward, yarn over the hook, insert into that chain two space behind those stitches and work two double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same space, and work your second double crochet. Then you're going to repeat the chain two, skip the next chain two space of the current row, and work two double crochet behind the next two double crochet in that next chain two space. So yarn over the hook, pull those stitches forward, insert your hook into that chain two space in the back and work two double crochet. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space and work a double crochet. So you would repeat the chain two and then the two double crochet into the next chain two space across until you get to the last chain two space before the corner, before that single crochet of the corner. So when you get over to this last chain two space, then you would chain two. And then you would start with your five double crochet into the corner chain two space. So click back on the video, start where we started with the five double crochet, and repeat from the five double crochet across to the next corner. Repeat that around the remaining sides and I will meet you at the end of round six. I'm over to the end of round six and this is what your work should look like. All your stitches are behind that previous round so it kind of forms what I call a pocket. That is normal. That's what it will look like. So you ended with the two double crochet and the chain two. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip this ending chain two of the current row and then we're going to skip this single crochet and we're going to count up to the top of that beginning chain three. One, two, three. You're going to insert your hook into the top of that chain and we're going to slip stitch together. Whoops. Yarn over the hook, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. I'm going to go ahead and fasten off. I'm going to grab my white and then I'm going to show you how to put the last two rounds on. But if you wanted to make your block bigger, then you would repeat rounds five and six over and over until you get it to the size that you require or what you want, however big you want to make it. Once you get it that big, then you would do rounds seven and eight. So I'll be right back with my white and I'll show you how to do the last two rounds. I have my white and again I'm going to leave about a two to three inch length, maybe a little longer, it's up to you. And we're going to go right into our joining stitch. So right where we fastened off, we're going to go right up there into that stitch, insert your hook, and pull that new color through. We're going to start and we're going to chain one and we're going to work a single crochet into that same stitch that we pulled our yarn through. Insert your hook into the top of that joining chain three and work a single crochet. Insert your hook into the next stitch and we're going to work one single crochet. We're going to insert our hook into the next stitch, which is the third stitch, the center stitch of that corner chain five, and we're going to work our corner. We're going to work one single crochet, chain two, and one single crochet all in this same stitch. Insert into that next stitch, 
work a single crochet, a chain two, one, two, insert your hook into that same stitch, and work a single crochet. Your corner was made. You're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, and you're going to work a single crochet. You're going to insert your hook into the next stitch and work a single crochet. Our repeat started, I forgot to tell you, right here when we did these two single crochets. Right after you do the corner, this is where our first repeat starts. You single crochet in each of those last two double crochet of that corner. So now we're going to work two double crochet in the next corresponding chain two space, two rounds below on the front of the work right here. So yarn over the hook, you're going to come down across the top of your work, you're going to go underneath that chain two space, two rounds below, and then you're going to push those stitches on the top row behind your work down so you're not working in them, and you're going to work two double crochet. There's one, yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space, and work your second double crochet. So that was the end of the repeat. So now you're going to repeat where we work one single crochet in each of the next two double crochet. Now when you're working this, you've got to remember you're working into the back of your work. So if this is behind you, remember this is not the current row. Your current row is back here behind your work. So insert your hook into that double crochet to the back and we're going to work one single crochet in each one of those two double crochet. We're going to work two double crochet into the next chain two space, two rounds below on the front of top of the work. So yarn over the hook, bend that top current row down, insert your hook underneath that chain two space, two rounds below, and work your first double crochet. Making sure that top row is pushed down and your stitches are not being worked in that space. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space, and work your second double crochet. That's the end of the repeat, and you're going to repeat that across until you get to the last chain two space before the corner. So I'm just going to go ahead and work across because we only have one more to go of the repeat. You're going to single crochet in each one of the next two double crochets on the current row in the back of your work. Insert into the top of that next stitch and single crochet. Insert your hook into the next stitch and work a single crochet. You're going to work two double crochet into the next chain two space two rounds below, you're going to go underneath that chain two space from front to back, push those stitches in the back of your work down so you're not working in them, and work your first double crochet. So now you're going to work two double crochet into the next chain two space, two rounds below, you're going underneath that chain two space, so yarn over the hook, go to the top front of your work, insert your hook underneath that chain two space, push that top round down out of your way, and work your first double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space, and work a double crochet. That was the end of your repeat working across to your corner. So now you're over to your corner and now you're going to start the repeat that you do from corner to corner. So to start that repeat, we're going to start again and we're going to single crochet in each of the first two stitches of the corner five double crochet group. So insert your hook into that first stitch and work a single crochet. Again, this is the start 
of the repeat working from corner to corner. Insert your hook into the next stitch and work a single crochet. Insert your hook into the next stitch and work one single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet all into that same center five double crochet group. You just made your corner. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two double crochet. Insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. Insert your hook into that next stitch and work a single crochet. Yarn over the hook. We're going to go down two rounds below to the top front of our work. We're going to insert our hook underneath that chain two space, bend that top round down underneath your work so you don't work in it and work two double crochet into that same chain two space. There's one. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same space and work your second double crochet. You're going to pull that back round back up. You're going to insert your hook into the first double crochet of the double crochet in that current row in the back. So insert your hook into that first double crochet and work a single crochet. Insert your hook into that next double crochet and work a single crochet. And this is the start of the beginning of working over across your, your uh, side of your block until you get to the next corner, chain five. Yarn over the hook. You're going to go down two rounds below. You're going to go to the top front of your work underneath that chain two space two rounds below. You're going to take your finger and push that top back round down out of your way. Do not work in it and work two double crochet into the same chain two space on the front top of your work. There's two. Take your hand and pull those stitches back up to the current level of work. Insert your hook into that next double crochet of the current row in the back and work one single crochet in each one of those double crochets. We're down to our last chain two space. So yarn over the hook. You're going to drop down two rounds below to the top front of your work. Insert your hook from front to back underneath that last chain two space. Fold that top round down out of the way and work two double crochet into that last chain two space. And that's the end of your repeat. You're going to go back to where I started. Just click back on the video where we started with working one single crochet in the first two stitches and then you work your corner. You'll repeat that around your other two sides. I'll meet you at the end of round seven. I'm over at the end of round seven. So now we're just going to go ahead and join with a slip stitch in the top of that beginning single crochet. So go up to the beginning single crochet, insert your hook under those top two strands, yarn over the hook, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Now round eight is a pretty simple round. We're just going to chain one. We're going to single crochet in that beginning single crochet. We're going to single crochet in each stitch across to this corner chain two space. Insert your hook into the next stitch and work a single crochet. Insert your hook into the next stitch and work a single crochet. We're at our corner chain two space. We're going to insert our hook and work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet all in that same corner chain two space. So now to finish our block, we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch across to that corner chain two space. So I'm going to go ahead and work one single crochet in each stitch across and I'll meet you at the corner. 
So I'm over to my next corner and if you look at my work you can see we done our corner and then I made one single crochet in each stitch across until I came to the next corner chain two space. So that's your repeat. You're going to insert your hook into that corner chain two space and work one single crochet, chain two, and one single crochet all in that corner chain two space. Then you're going to work one single crochet in each stitch across until you get to the next corner chain two space. So very, very simple round. So go ahead and repeat that around. You're going to work one single crochet in each stitch across to your corner chain two space and then you start over. You work one single crochet chain two and one single crochet in each corner chain two space and then one single crochet in each stitch around. I'll meet you at the end of round eight and show you how to join. So I'm over at the end of round eight and this is what our block looks like. So I'm just going to go up here and we're going to slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet. Just insert your hook under those top two strands yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch, and pull it through the loop on your hook. I'm just going to go ahead and fasten off real quick. And my ends are still all hanging in the back, so please excuse me for that. I just do that because it's easier when I'm videotaping to just let them hang. So this is our finished block, and again, it's called, I call it the front stitch, back stitch because we're working on the front and then we're working behind the stitches to create almost like a waffle type pattern. It's very tight. There's no holes and that's what I like so much about this block. I really like the granny square. I just don't like the big holes in it when they make them. And then this is the back of your work. Again, please excuse my ends. You can see that where the holes are, the stitches in front cover them. So it keeps it like a solid type pattern. So this would be excellent for a baby afghan. I really think this would be pretty if you can imagine doing one block where the dark color starts in the center and comes out to the light and then if you alternate and make a block where it starts with the light and alternates out to the dark and then just alternate them in the afghan would be extremely beautiful or if you used other color combinations and used up those scrap yarn Thank you everybody for stopping by. Again, this is stitch pattern number 95. It is called the Front Stitch Back Stitch Granny Square. I really enjoyed making this with you today. I hope you enjoyed making this pattern along with me. The instructions are on my website. This is a free pattern. Just go to creativegrandma.net, hit Stitch of the Week at the top right hand corner it'll take you right to the stitch of the week page if you click on the name of the stitch you can just download that immediately when you hit the name of the stitch it will show up as a little file down there in the left corner of your screen on your computer and then you just click it and it downloads right to your computer now if you download this pattern and you forget how to make it and you get on YouTube and you can't find the video then go back to the website click the photo of the picture of the stitch and it takes you right to the video just a really easy way to find those videos when you want to go back and try this later on so thanks again everybody please make sure you hit that like button and hit your subscribe button if you're not subscribed so you don't miss any fun tutorials or giveaways or stitch of the week or any of our fun crochet things that we post on our videos happy crocheting everybody